Hello, you are welcome to my channel. My name is Adenike. Today, I will be showing you a step-by-step -step guide in making these gorgeous ruched skirts with front slits. The two measurements we'll be needing is the waist and the skirt length. My waist is 30 inches plus one inch allowance for zipper, that is 31, divided by 3.14, which is the standard radius for half circle, and that is 9.8. My skirt length is 30 inches plus one inch for M allowance, which is 31, minus 1.5 inch for band to my skirts and that would make it 29.5 this 29.5 plus 9.8 would give me 39.3 for the total fabric needed on fold my fabric is on fold Measure both sides and ensure that the fabric is up to 39.3. Fold the fabric to make a triangle shape. Measure the waist, which is 9.8. Trace it round. Same way, measure the length which is 29.5 in my own case. Keep measuring your length round and make sure you secure your tip at the tip of the fabric to ensure you are on the right lane. Then connect all the dotted lines and cut both the skirt length and the skirt waistline. If you open your fabric after cutting, you should have an half of a circle shape. Here yeah, I've cut out fabric for the ruched cover and the rope. The one I will place on the skirt is 2.5 and the rope is 1.5 inch. By the time I fold them, I'll be having like half an inch. Next is the skirt. On the right side of the fabric, fold your fabric into two equal parts from the center. You are going to measure your nipple to nipple. Mine is eight inches, and I'll divide it by two. That will give me four. So notch it. Now mark out half an inch for the top M allowance. From the mark, make a straight line down the skirt. Remember, the top is smaller than the bottom of the skirt. Under the notch area for the seam allowance, I'm going to measure my rush cover length. And in my own case, I made it 15 inches. I cut out rush cover length to be 16. I'll be using half an inch for both up and down for the M allowance. So 2.5 for the lower M and uh, another is 0.5 inch for the upper seam allowance. Then I still have the balance of 15 inches. And I've also folded the other side to so the both side, and I'm going to sew around it. Then you will make a straight line at the center, pin it directly on the notched area. I'll fold and sew the row. Now flip the fabric to the other side of the notched area for the front slits. Make a dash line just like 
I did for the Rouge side. Then I measure my slit line from the bottom up to get 14 inches. I honestly do not want it to be too high. So I'm going to cut it out and stop exactly where my mark is. The next thing is to take my fabric to the machine. So this is a sewing pack. Make sure your ruched cover is centered directly on the notched line. Then sew it through. I'm sewing the middle part first. You can sew it however you want, but to be much more convenient for you to fold it well, I think you should go with the middle cover first. So that's it for that one, then followed by the both edges. Okay, so I'm folding in that 0 0.5 inch allowance and I'm going to sew through it. So I'm going to do the same to the other side too. I'm done attaching my rouge cover to my skirt. See how neat it is. As straight. This is the two side. Open in both up and down. The thing I'm going to do is um, sew my rouge cover rope and flip it through my skirt. I'm using a safety pin for this. So just do it get in the gather and stop at the last edge slightly then you can use a pin to secure it i'll do the same to the other side so i'm going to sew the upper side to the skirt permanently And that's the rouge cover. I'm pinning it down with my machine so I can drag the ruched side to my desired length. Oh, I can see the beauty already. <laughs> Can't wait to rock it. So the next thing I'm going to do is to make sure that I pick the slits as lightly as possible. So I don't want my slit to be overly wide. I just want it to be narrow so it can show some skin. Still picking it as careful as possible in the slightest way. Once that is done, we move to the band. Now for my band, remember that we cut out 1.5, which is supposed to be my band width. So I'm adding half an inch to it for the M allowance to the match boots. And I basically sew half an inch throughout for the M. The next one is to sew the back edge together and fix the zipper. And I have also overlooked the rough edges. Voila! We are done. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. See you in my next video. Bye!